So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again. And this time it's sad news, man. Sad news. You're in Timber. Looks like he is out for the whole entire season. Oh, dear. Uh, before we get into talking about that, um, make sure you are smashing the like button. That would be great. Uh, big up to everybody who's subbed recently. Channel's flying. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, make sure you are subbing. Make sure you are leaving comments and super chats down below. Thank you very much to everybody who does. Uh, share the content around. Also, do check out the video that I've dropped just now on Lee Reacts. And if you could go and sub to that channel, that is flying towards 20K. It's on 19.2 now. So we got the 200 new subs yesterday. And um, a Harry Maguire video is out on that channel. Refusing to leave United. Uh, also spoke about Mason Mount's absolute wet white brother, who's crying about factual information about Mason Mount. All over his Instagram, crying like a baby, because Talk Sport posted factual information about his performance the other night. So go and check that video out because I enjoyed making that one. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get into uh, let's get into this. Um, Arsenal have posted on their website, you're in Timber, medical updates. Further to detailed assessments with consultant specialists since Saturday, we can confirm that Urien Timber has sustained an injury to his anterior cruciate ligament in his right knee. Urien will undergo surgery in the coming days and will be out of action for a period of time. The support and expertise from our medical team and everyone at the club will now be focused on Urien's rehabilitation program to ensure he recovers well and is back playing as soon as possible. Now, this is extremely sad news because that was his Premier League debut. He was playing at left back. I weren't happy about that, by the way. Um, shock. Oh, Lee's, Lee's not happy. Um, not natural for him to play at left back. I didn't like the fact that we brought him back on in the second half, despite it being a different leg. It was the opposite leg that he'd injured in the first half. Um, but I've seen an awful lot of these super fans and just absolute inverted backwards bent weirdos all over their Twitter sphere <laughs> chatting absolute garbage. Oh, if the medical team said he's okay then he's okay. Well, quite clearly he wasn't. So maybe we should sack the medical staff. And the thing for me, even though it was the opposite leg, the opposite um, leg that he got injured in the first half, he's come back out and then he's done that one within four minutes. Firstly, he's playing in a position that's not natural to him. Secondly, maybe he was putting a little bit too much on that leg to compensate the first injury he got in the first half, which was deemed okay to come back out by our management team and our medical team. Now, at the end of the day, listen, not blaming Arteta, but at the same time, you have to question why he was playing at left back when we do actually have other players that have consistently played at left back in the squad, on the bench. Tommy Asu was on the bench. How many times has he played him at left back? Quite a lot. Uh, you're in Timber. I'm not sure how many times in his career he's played left back, but it ain't many. Uh, he's more natural on the right hand side of a centre back pairing a free at the back or even at right back and we've seen that he's played him at left back in the community shield cool as soon as we took him off we conceded the goal uh, Kieran Tierney was partly at fault for that goal wasn't even in the squad at the weekend and now I'm seeing everyone go oh we can't we can't let Tierney go why he didn't like him well so now one player gets injured now we keep him at the club because what for vibes well because we're lacking depth don't worry we've got Zinchenko Oh, no, we haven't, have we? Because he's been out since about middle of May, yeah, with a calf strain. Albeit he could play in the virtue signaling game, though. He had 11 minutes in that game. He was fine for that. He's more of a political speaker than he is a footballer, Zinchenko. Uh, we've also got Kivior, who's come to the club in January, barely played any games. But don't worry, he can play left-back, apparently. Good one. And we've also got Tommy, who's fit for a probably in the next three or four weeks, and he'll be out injured again because he's made a glass. So, Kieran Tierney, you don't like. Now you think, oh, no, well, actually, maybe we should keep him. Uh, at the end of the day, it's very sad for Timber because he looked like an absolute talent. I can't lie. But at the end of the day, these things happen. And unfortunately, these things happen quite a lot at Arsenal. It's amazing how many players we buy that, bang, big injury. Like, it's unbelievable. I know injuries are part of the game. But we're either doing something wrong in training or it's just pure unluck, unlucky. 
I don't really understand because for me, I've said this so many times, this new hipster trend of playing players out of position, I don't rate it one bit. I'm old fashioned. I'm old school. You know, play a left back at left back, play a right back at right back. That's it. You don't need to do all this hipster inverted hybrids, playing the half spaces. People talk like they are absolute experts on football. You're not. You're sat on your Twitter accounts, yeah, chatting absolute breeze. Yeah, absolute breeze, these idiots. I might actually come back to Twitter. Now I know I can get paid on it. I'll rattle everyone on there. I might actually set up a Twitter account, pay for Twitter Blue. Now I know I can get paid. That'll be entertaining. Because I get all of my posts, my out of context posts on there, um, like the one today, um, out of context of apparently me blaming Arteta. No, I didn't blame Arteta for his injury. I blamed Arteta for bringing him out in the second half, which may have contributed to it. But again, there was no context to the clip. Um, but it is what it is. I'm used to it. Listen, it's uh, been on YouTube for on this channel five years in November. So I'm used to these people chatting absolute garbage. And uh, ultimately, I'm always right. Yeah, at the end of the season, I'll be proven right yet again. And unfortunately, that's just the way of the world. I played the long game. Yeah, I played the long game. At the end of the day, I'd love my football club to do what's required to go on and win. Unfortunately, they don't. And uh, like I said yesterday on Terry's show, the most competitive league in the world right now is the Saudi Pro League. They're all trying to win it. Every single one of them is trying to win that league. And the prize money for that league is 1.2 million. They've just given Neymar 100 million a year. 25 bed mansion, all the cars in the world that he wants, half a million quid every time he posts positive about Saudi Arabia. Like, right. there's any Saudis out there, I'm available, mate. Literally, I'm available. Maybe not to play football, <laughs> bit old for that, but I am available. So if you need me to come out there, I will fully learn Arabic right now. I'll start now. Just email me. I'm ready. Yeah, 20 grand a week, a little 25s. I'm cool with that. I'll come out there. I'll do the commentary. Yeah, we'll do whatever you want. Whatever you want. But anyway, listen, um, do we need to replace Timber with another left back? No, is the short answer. Uh, because he ain't a left back. And it's kind of funny that I see so many people talking about we've got to keep Tierney or, or if we don't keep Tierney, we need another left back. Why? You gassed up Zinchenko into oblivion, making out he's the best left back in the league last season. You've bo boosted up Tommy Asu into oblivion. Oh, he wins headers. Yeah, Kivior boosted him into oblivion. I don't understand why these people are now so shook that we've got one player out injured who ain't even a left back. Oh, we need a left back. No, we don't. We do not need a left back. That is the least of our wives. We need a striker, mate. That's what we need. We need a striker. Yeah, you're in Timber. Sad for him, man. I hope he comes back stronger than ever. But sadly, when these players get these injuries, it does really, really ruin them. There's been a lot of players down the years that have been ruined off of the back of this. And so we see Fafana, <coughs> excuse me, at Chelsea. Yeah, two mad injuries in a row. Yeah, he's never coming back the player he was. Didn't even come back the player he was after the first big injury. Now he's got another big injury. Now we've seen a lot of players further back that have had these injuries. They've never, ever recovered to go back to the level because it's just it's just a nasty injury, man. Yeah, and it's literally, that could play on his career for the rest of his career now. Yeah, his career could be cut short because of that injury. And it's kind of crazy, man. Premier League debut, he must have been absolutely buzzing to play in front of the crowd. Uh, in fact, he actually posted this. Let me find it real quick. He actually posted. Um, I want to read it out. Um, I did screenshot it. Where are we? There we are. So, I uh, got to uh, share my in, uh, injury is more serious than expected, especially after the warm welcome that I've received. I wanted to repay you on the pitch, which will not be possible for the forthcoming period. I am blessed with a lot of great people around me. Together, we will do anything to get back as soon and as strong as possible. For now, I'll be supporting the team from the stands, of course. Uh, thanks for making me feel at home in such a short period of time. See you at the carpet. Um, so there we go. Listen, sad times, man. It's sad. Listen, you never want to see a player get injured, especially when it's one at your team. But a long injury like that, he's going to be out for the whole season. There's no way we're seeing him again this season. I'll be shocked. Yeah, that's a nine-monther. Yeah, at least. Yeah, probably see him about this time next year if we're lucky. Maybe he'll be back in light training, warm warm weather training or sank in July next year. I don't know. But it's not great. And um, yeah, like I said, I don't know why people are getting too giddy about it. Listen, it's sad that we've got a player that's just signed for the club that we're all excited to see play. 
out injured for such a, a long length of time now. But it doesn't mean we need a left back because ultimately he is not a left back. We have Tierney left back. We have Zinchenko, who apparently is the greatest left back in living history, the way our fans have been going on about him. But now they've realised, oh, hang on, actually, no, he's not that great, is he? Always injured, isn't he? Oh, Tommy's always injured as well. Okay, so that just means we've got Kieran Tierney who's about to leave. Tommy's always injured. Zinchenko's always... Oh, it means Kivior's playing there, yeah? Maybe we should just train Pepe to play there, yeah? Maybe we should do that. Yeah, maybe the hipsters are getting involved again with Pepe. <laughs> now he's playing inverted left back. Yeah, maybe they'll give him, him a second chance. I don't know. One thing that I will say is it's very frustrating because that's um, kind of nosed up a lot of our plans this season because I do think he was going to play quite a lot of left back, even though I am against him playing at left back. Um, I do think he was going to play quite a lot of left back this season. Uh, but not anymore, he ain't. So now where do we go from here? When's Zinchenko back? When's Tommy's back? But for how long? These players can't stay fit. And we should have known this because when we signed Zinchenko, his injury record was as long as my arm. Yeah, Tommy Asu, since he's been here, ain't stayed fit for how long? That is always injured. The amount of players that come to this club that are always injured is insane. And it's happened time after time after time. It's either something we're doing in training. Yeah, maybe too much running. I don't know. Maybe the, the football pitches at Colney are too hard. We've heard that one before. We've been told that they're rock solid. Maybe that's wear and tear on the body when you're tackling in training. Maybe that's doing a bit of damage to the body. I don't know. Or maybe it's just pure on luck. Yeah, maybe it's a bit of all three. But yeah, man, uh, feel for him. I wish him the best. But we've got to plough on, mate. And uh, this football club needs to go out there and get a striker. And it needs to go out there. And for me, yeah, get another midfielder. Because if Declan Rice or Thomas Pike get injured, we're back to square one again, aren't we? But nevertheless, the window is still open. And it is open for another two weeks. So um, there is plenty of time. Might go and get a little stopgap. Um, in midfield for now. Although, don't worry, we've got Jorginho. He, he had a great off-target shot that hit Emmy Martinez and went in. He's got he's got a free pass for the next five years. We've still got El Nini. Mustn't forget El Nini. Loyal servant to the club. Well, I would be as well if I was bang average at football and getting paid 40 grand a week. I'd be a loyal servant as well. What do I know? I'm just negative. Uh, it's amazing um, how many people sit on the internet on a daily basis. Not just random weirdos. But actually, ex-footballers, um, footballers' brothers, like Mason Mount's brother, and like I said, crying that Talksport posted out his stats for the game. Zero shots, zero chance created, zero crosses, zero tackles, zero this. And then his brother's coming out crying. Oh, I can't believe this, this abuse. Well, how's giving factual information abuse? And this is the problem with social media. I love people watching this, yeah, chatting absolute bollocks. Yeah. Oh, you're so toxic. Oh, you're so negative. Nobody cares, mate. Like, genuinely, it sounds good. It's like one of these little fads and trends on uh, on Twitter. Oh, you're to oh, everybody's toxic. Criticism's now abuse. <laughs> I don't know how these people get through a day. It's mad. It's actually mad. Oh, but there we go. It is what it is. Um, let me know your thoughts and feelings on everything we just spoke about. Leave it in the comments section. Go and check out the video about Harry Maguire and Mason Mount's dopey brother. Uh, who's a snowflake, like most of these Muppets that sit on Twitter. Um, so, yeah, go and check that out. I will have another video out on the second channel as well tonight after the Super Cup final at Man City Sevilla tonight. Don't forget that, 8 p.m. I won't be doing a watch long. Uh, but, yeah, I will have a video out on that second channel again after that game's finished. So, uh, looking forward to that. I think City are probably battering, if I'm honest. Sevilla have just sold a couple of players as well, um, including their goalkeeper. So, yeah, I think uh, I think Severe are doomed, if I'm honest. Um, but there we go. It is what it is. Uh, all have a blessed evening. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. I will be back with Jez at 7 p.m. tonight. So, what, about an hour um, from when you're seeing this? I'm on with Jez uh, and Kenny on his channel, Arsenal History and More. So make sure you do go and check that out as well. And, uh, yeah, we're out of here, people. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Go and subscribe to Lee Reacts. Link in the description. Check out the Harry Maguire and Mason Mount Brother video. And uh, leave your comments and super chats down below. Adios, amigos.